Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Yeah, to the power! Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle Smash Up is a fighting game and a good one. It's what you expect from a fighting game. You get a strong attack, a light attack, you can attack in angles, jump. You don't get special character specific special moves, but you get power ups which have a unique feature. If you don't like your power up, you can change it by holding a button and pointing, but since the action is fast paced, this requires great skill if you want to change your power up. The arenas are nice looking, having bottomless pits, collapsing structures or alligators that want to eat you, so the environments are interactive. You also the game has mini games too, and multiplayer, and lots of game modes. And there are 16 characters in the game, and most characters have alter alternative outfits, which you can unlock with shells, the in-game currency. So in short, it's a nice game. Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles is a basic brawler that doesn't add variety. All you do is brawl. Not even enemies are that distinct one from each other. They have some different features and are only on paper different because most of the time you will feel like only the appearance has changed, not the way you fight enemies and not the way they fight you. They all feel the same. In Rust it's nice that you can switch between the turtles but even the turtles feel very much alike. But it's nice that you can buy new moves, which add a little bit of novelty to the game, but even the new moves get very repetitive pretty fast. And you will get fed up by the number of enemies you will throw at the screen. I mean, it looks cool if it's occasional, but not when you see it too often, because it blocks your view. TMNT is an action adventure. And it's not that great. They added platforming, but it's not that fun as it feels clunky due to the camera and controls. Also in combat, the camera gets in the way too much. And the controls that are poor, you just mash one button to fight generic thugs, aren't that interesting. You need to switch between turtles to solve, to solve some certain platforming parts as for example only Michelangelo can use his nunchucks like helicopter propellers to float, only Donatello can pole vault over large gaps and only Leonardo can go through walls. The game is average to mediocre. Graphics alone can save the game if the bad controls and so and so gameplay are in the way of the fun. Okay, so this was the video. If you liked it, please hit the like button and subscribe. If you want to be a very special someone for the channel, click the join button and choose one of the perks. If you want, you can follow me on Twitch, Instagram or Discord. And if you want to see another video of mine, just wait till I stop talking and there will be thumbnails of other videos I've made. Thanks for watching.